Well, we had a great time with the floppy cock band yesterday. Some YouTubers came out for their first time and we put her in the drink. We drowned her. Now she's hydro locked. I'm tearing the motor apart right now to see if I can save it. I don't know. I got the intake manifold off. I took that off so that I could tip it and dump out all the water out of there. Still water is drying up out of the air cleaner cover and the way it got in it was right here by the air input near the computer. The air comes in through the computer, goes to the air filter, and goes to the intake manifold and I'm drying out my soaking wet air filter at the same time. When I looked down there into the intake ports there was lots of water down there. All the spark plugs are pulled out. Now I'm going to give it a crank and try to blast all the water out of the motor. Hopefully we don't have any bent connecting rods or cracked pistons. It wasn't running that fast when it swallowed the water, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Holy! Sure is lots of water blew out already. <laughs> Water's still flying, I can see the drop. Well that's what the engine sounds like with no compression. At least the starter motor is good after sitting in the lake. Well everything's all wet and splashed now. <laughs> Including under the hood. <laughs> Including the firewall. <laughs> Soaked. Well, now to slam the bitch back together and see if she's going to fire up. She's cranking fine, so it can't be that bad. Poor thing. You've had a rough life. You're just like my kitty. You had to die on me twice now. But I can save you. Let's shove a clutch rod down your throat and clear your passageways. Worked before. One more tip. If you ever wondered how to change those nasty back spark plugs on your 3.3 or your 3.8, taking off the intake manifold is actually quite easy. It took me about 10 minutes. And now no scrapes on your arms or wrists. So much room to get those plugs out in this 60 degree V6. Just take off the coil pack off here. Take off the alternator bracket bolt. Take off this little support bracket bolt at the back. And then just a few bolts that run along through the middle that are really easy to get at and the air snorkel tube and just move it out of the way leave everything else connected to it very simple now for the big test is it going to be run after being hydro locked and has probably still some water in there to get the spark plugs wet oh such a beautiful van and a nice interior gotta love it here we go the hell. Oh, she wants to live. Yes! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Sometimes the tack works and sometimes it doesn't. There's an electrical problem with all the gauges and the radio. Someday I'll get to it. 